Welcome to the underground, you rebel scum. You're listening to the American Expat, and I know I didn't do a live today, but, uh, well, I've been on the road, as you can tell. I'm sorry I'm a little bit silhouetted here as we have arrived. It's been quite a journey. I wanted to update everybody. So, of course, it all started with a little barbecue before leaving, uh, which then we experienced some torrential downpours in which I was stuck from uh, not being able to get back up to the house for a little bit. Finally on the road for some night driving, went through some little towns, saw some more thunderstorms, and now here we are at this hotel, ready to sleep, and I'm of course in the car, because I wanted to record this without disturbing my son to let you guys know that I am still around, uh, <laughs> not that that matters all that much, but uh, yes, I'm here, and uh, wanted to let everybody know I'm back on the road, I'm working again. Uh, the time zones are killing me here. So if it's uh, it's about 10 o'clock here now, which normally I do my live stream at 10 o'clock. Unfortunately, 10 o'clock here is not the same as 10 o'clock at home. So I don't think anybody's going to be waiting to watch the thing. I, I really have to pay more attention to that. Just the same, I would have been on the road anyway, so it wouldn't have made much of a difference. But I thought I would update you guys and let you know that I am working on improving the situation so that we can actually do the show. Um, otherwise, I'm going to be vlogging it up like this, I suppose, every day, giving you guys an update. I'll try to include some news next time, because I know that's what a lot of people tune in to hear, uh, some of my thoughts about the whole news situation, which uh, I have heard little bits and pieces of news today. Uh, one very interesting thing had to do with, uh, I guess, protesters getting a man fired and uh, Joe Biden this is something I did want to talk about the uh, strategic petroleum reserve that uh, Joe Biden apparently sent off to Europe now we knew about that I'm I'm not sure why the mainstream media is just now picking up on that I thought that was pretty common knowledge that uh, they had been sending it off to other places and not using it to draw down the prices here in the United States clearly it's a uh, it just kind of reminds me of when Obama was president. They said the prices must remain necessarily high in order to bring about change. Of course, they're being quite open about that now, saying that's exactly what they want. They don't want us driving more. They uh, Their goal is climate change or stopping climate change. I'm not sure whether they're trying to change the climate or stop the changing climate. But either way, their goals are not to help the regular poor people out in the United States. It's some other kind of strange agenda. Isn't that strange that your representatives do not represent you or your interests? They represent some interests of a strange group that's far, far away. Um, the, in fact, the interests that they seem to be representing, if you were to count anybody from here in the United States, is maybe at most 20%, probably not even 20% of the population. The rest of us, well, I guess... Uh, America be damned is the way that they're looking at it. And, well, that's pretty much what they've done to us. Well, anyway, I had probably better head back into the hotel room to get some sleep because tomorrow the road will be coming along again. So hopefully you guys enjoyed hearing a little bit of an update. Uh, otherwise, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>